I'll tell you a story written in stone about how love never dies. For those lucky enough to know love, you know, true love never ends because even as time passes, love remains. At the Florida National Cemetery and most cemeteries, there are countless love stories standing solemn and true. From the love of my life to perfect partners, some are love stories now completed, while others... The flowers look good, don't they? Yeah. They opened up a little bit more than I thought. ...have love stories on a pause. It's hard to come here, it really is. Like Joan and Jim Robinette, the pair knew love for 43 years. We had some good times, we really did. She visits her sweetheart twice a week, today with her tearful granddaughter, Savannah. So, yeah. This will be Joan's second Valentine's Day, apart from Jim. He was so handsome, he really was, and I didn't consider myself, you know, pretty or anything like that. Plus, I was seven years older than him. So it was, it was a shock, but I loved him. Funny to think, a cemetery is where so many love stories are told. We dated and were married five months later. Said out loud over and over again. Dad went up to her and said, um, you know, there's no place to sit. You know, could you mind if I sit here? And mom said the bus was half empty. So Julia, she... Debbie, and Kim remember their parents' love story. Remember at times I'm saying, well, I'm the boss around here, but <laughs> we knew who the boss was because <laughs> mom true. always got her way. So here she is again. Almost 60 years of love, Lena and Arnold Banta shared. And with Valentine's Day upon us, we often think about those great loves. Dad always said mom got everything she wanted. <laughs> For these daughters, everything they wanted is a life in heaven together. For Joan, you will be in our hearts forever. She passes on love advice to the next generations in her family. Talk, talk to each other, you know, just talk. And if something uh, is upsetting you, talk about it. With a longing touch, she knows this Valentine's Day won't be the same, but she still has a kiss for her soulmate. And like it says, etched in stone, Jim will be in her heart okay. forever. Bye, Grandpa. Love you. Love you, miss you. Yeah. And on that love you, miss you, I'll wrap it up. For that is enough for today, since we all know love is a never-ending story. For Spectrum News with Eugene Buenaventura, I'm Erin Murray.